Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's Around the House. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining us today. Well, I wanted to take a minute today, and I've had a lot of questions come in over uh, over the web off the Around the House online dot com uh contact us page about my last my let's test it segment that i do on my around the house northwest television show and it's been very interesting to take well products that were what i would say the cheapest ones i could find on amazon and test them out and see if they work and we had some hits we had some misses and we have one coming up that was actually uh, I put in the dangerous category and uh, I tested it out. It didn't work. And uh, it's something that when it comes to safety, it makes me very concerned sometimes when we're buying things that are, well, cheaper than what they should be. So when you take a look at it, I go, uh oh, we got to be careful with some of these. So we've tested a bunch of different products over the last few months, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, some of my favorite ones that I did was the um, Mokinai 12 volt, three inch mini angle grinder power tool. I mean, this thing here was very, very simple. I mean, I was impressed because it sat there and delivered a, a really great product. And this is one of those little tiny um little mini three inch angle grinders. It's about 36 bucks right now. I caught it on sale, but um, I tell you what, it is a Milwaukee knockoff and it did really well. I was very impressed with it. And so I did that back here last month. It was a really cool product and it worked out really well. Uh, some of the other ones that didn't was the electric drill reciprocating saw adapter. So basically you put in the chuck of a drill and it came out with a really poor plastic handle and a sawzall blade went in after that. And I tell you what, that thing was absolutely horrible. But the one that really kind of opened my eyes that, OK, we got to be careful with some of these because this one was a safety device and I thought it would work a lot better. And it's coming up in a future episode, but I'm going to talk about it today. And this is a portable carbon monoxide detector. L Sen Senalty L Senalty portable carbon monoxide detector $35. I thought this is going to be great. We'll test it. The problem is I turned it on, I took it out, I said, "Okay, what's the best way to do it?" "Hey, let's put it right next to a vehicle that's running." So I put it down there next to it. I could not no matter what I did get this to register any carbon monoxide. And I mean, didn't matter what I did. It showed zero parts per million. I could put it where I was about ready to burn my hand from the exhaust and it wouldn't set off. So be really careful with the products out there. And ironically, what it says, the testing is amazing. And this is, again, these are the warnings that you get when you buy cheap stuff, but it's fascinating. The way to test it to make sure it's working, they say, is to light a cigarette and burn it right next to it and let it go for two minutes and see if it goes up. I'm like, first off, I don't have a cigarette. Second of all, I'm not going to go buy a pack of cigarettes just to test it. So I use the next best thing, a vehicle. And I tell you what, it didn't register at all. Didn't matter what vehicle, didn't matter what we did. So be very careful when you're buying 
these very inexpensive things on on a line because this one here is probably going to go back, but it does not work. And uh, that is very, very concerning when you're trying to rely on something for safety and it completely is non-functional, uh, especially with carbon monoxide, which is a colorless, odorless, you know, you can't really tell when you've got that coming and that can kill you. So be very careful. I would stay away from any of these products out there that are safety off-brand things, whether it's a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector, whatever. If it's not a common brand, I would stay away from it because, uh, boy, I tell you what, that is going to be dangerous. Now, there is some stuff that I did test that I thought was interesting. I tested the Macaulay Gutter Cleaner Pro, which was f interesting. It didn't work well. Um, we did get some comments that I could have swipped it around and used it. Yes, we tried that too, but I couldn't get it to really work well with the way the um, with the way it worked as far as trying to... It just wasn't a good gutter cleaner. So what ended up airing on TV, we didn't show all of the different ways we tested it, just for the matter of time to fit it in the show, but uh, it didn't work as well. We've got some other great products coming up, don't get me wrong, that we're going to be testing. Now, there's some other stuff that, that has worked pretty well, and uh, the hot glue gun worked really well. Um... You know, so we've had a, a fair amount of different products here that uh, that worked. Now, I will say this was a funny one. We did test the Flex Tape Flood Protection Waterproof Rubberized Tape. And this is the stuff you see on TV. And uh, you put it around the doorways and it keeps water from coming in around doorways and stuff into your house. And that was really cool. I like that product. But man, I tell you what, that thing aired. And in probably an hour, I had an email from Flex Tape saying that, well, you, you ordered the flex tape, but you didn't use the other materials that go with it. So this is what was interesting. And uh, we'll probably do a follow-up segment with this here just to show it. But flex tape came out with a with this product, and I just ordered it off Amazon. I, I jumped on and said, oh, this is cool. Awesome. Well, you have to use the three different products where it's like in a caulking and it's in a putty. Uh, so you have two liquids and then the tape. So you have to use those all combined together within the product. So in fairness, um, I didn't use all three sections of that, even though that's how I bought it. I it was just like, I. that's the one thing with these things is I try to buy it like any other consumer would, you know, hey, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to buy it, and, and then you go to use it. And so I'm trying not to do a thousand bits of research because I just looked at it and went, hey, flex state flood prevent flood protection. Let's go with it. And so I ended up doing that and it worked out. It did okay. But I know if I were to use the other products, it just means that you have to buy that as all one big kit and not the individual pieces. So make sure that you pay attention on those things. We'll probably shoot an update with that. And uh, other stuff that worked really well, the little mini chainsaw, that was good. And then the uh, Garden Joy cordless drill was uh, was poor at best. But if that was the only tool you had, it's better than doing it by hand. But these are some of the things that we're trying to uh, test out. We have some electrician's tools coming up next. We've got some other products coming up that'll be really cool. So uh, pay attention to that. We're going to have a lot of new products coming up that we're going to be testing. And if you want to see this stuff here, and you're wondering where these videos are that I'm talking about, head over to my website, which is aroundthehouseonline.com, and you can take a look over there and see what's going on. You can find the YouTube videos, and once you get over to the page, you can find the uh, KBTV Fox 12 playlist for this, and then you can watch the videos yourself because they're all individual videos over there on YouTube. So that's where you can find it. And I'll put the uh, playlist uh, YouTube here in the uh, in the show notes down below to take a look. So uh, that's where you're going to find those. But uh, that's kind of our history of this new thing we're doing on the YouTube, uh, on the television show called you test, you know, let's test it. We're just trying to see what are great products, what are not so great products. And I think we're running about 50, 50 right now, which is pretty cool. I'm enjoying that. Uh, some of these are really surprising to see what works and what doesn't. And, uh, you know, there's times that I look at it and go, wow, this is, um, you know, uh, not as great as the name brand tool, but, um, functional enough that you could use it, which I think is really important for people that can't go out and spend two or 300 bucks on a tool that uh, they're going to use once or twice. You know, it's kind of a, 
It's kind of like other products out there where you're like, I'm going to use this once. I don't have to have the name brand to do it. And that's been pretty important. And if we can save you some money, that's always a good thing. Now, if you've got a product that you've been looking at and you want us to test, make sure you head over to aroundthehouseonline.com, hit the contact us, and uh, you could just send us a note, send us a link, and we'll take a look and see if it's something that we can do in a future episode of the show, which will be a lot of fun. So when you're over there taking a look at the videos, we've got about 157 of them over there. So take a peek at that. Uh, boy, we've got a jam-packed stuff over there from showing you our secrets to how to clean old tile and grout to uh, taking a look about firescaping your home. And uh, boy, we've got so many different things over there as far as what we're tackling. Uh, everything from uh, we uh, tested the GFCI outlet and... Uh, Boy, I tell you what, we've got a lot of different pieces over there, uh, including my latest backyard makeover project. So we've got a lot of different things going. So make sure you hit that up and you can see that down here in the podcast show notes. All right, all right, everybody. Well, I have got to get after it today. The sun is starting to come up. I've got a long day ahead of us. I've got um, drive down for another TV sh shoot that we've got down here in Eugene today. So I'm heading south a couple hours. And I'm uh, going to head down there for a shoot, and uh, it's a busy one ahead. So uh, everybody have a great rest of the week. We've got a brand new show this weekend coming up. Um, I, it, was an, it was nice. I needed some R&R &R last weekend, and I'm um, just getting my sea legs back from under me. I, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where you got to take some time off. It was good to do that. Uh, resting up my body, I tell you what, uh, from doing all these projects all the time, it uh, was taking its toll on me, and a little R&R &R was exactly what I needed. So I appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, we'll have a brand new show for you this weekend on Around the House. Thanks for tuning in Around the House. We'll see you on Saturday. Somewhere unseen and undiscovered is a love song let's be lovers we're all over the radio take my Hey, it's Eric G from Around the House. Are you planning a decking or siding project this year? If you are, you've got to check out my friends at Millboard. Millboard is a completely different kind of composite decking and cladding that enhances outdoor spaces with enduring distinction. Hand molded from the finest oak, it realistically mimics the natural grain and color of premium hardwood. If you're looking for something that doesn't look like plastic and instead real wood, check out millboard.com. Make sure and check out that interview we did just a few weeks back. That's millboard.com.